What's up, guys? Um, today I'm just going to show you a um, automation feature that not a lot of people know about. They use automation clips inside of FL Studio. Like if I were to go here, and um, you know, I want to automate the volume here, I go like this and create an automation clip, and my automation clip would show up here. And then when I drop that pattern down, I'd be able to automate the volume. But what not a lot of people know is um, you can actually actually let me get rid of that really quickly we don't we don't want that lingering around so this is just a, a little this is part of a song this is just a loop from a song that I made and you'll hear it it's uh, it's a little like trans kind of deal and I'm gonna I'm using Nexus 2 and the plugin is under plucked and it's called dyke pikes so you'll hear it let me put the volume down so it doesn't crank over Okay, I like how I like how that sounds, but I wanna I wanna use an autom I wanna automate it up, you know, like maybe before a break or a breakdown or something like that. Now a lot of people don't know this, but you can use any parameter inside of your plugins. You can also automate those. You don't have to use just the stock FL Studio um, effects on your channel strip inserts. So what we're gonna do here is this is the sound that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go here and I have this cut I have this set to low pass and I'm just gonna put the cutoff all the way down and you're gonna hear how it sounds. It's really quiet but and we wanna open that up and we want to automate that up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Nexus. Make sure that this is set to on. This is set to low pass and click on cutoff so you see the little up and down arrow and just move it up and down a little bit. And then when after you move up and down a little bit, leave it where it's at. So this is pointing down to the left. And then you're going to go into Tools, Last Tweaked, Create an Automation Clip. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to create an automation clip from that, uh, from that, from the parameters that you want to edit inside of there. And in this case, I want it to, you know, like I want it to open up. Maybe not completely like that, but I want to do it slowly like this. So now let's give here a listen. Put the volume up a little bit. And you'll you'll hear it open up. Make sure that this is set to on or else it won't be able to latch on to that cutoff. And you'll see the cutoff move here. So <laughs> No you won't because it's set to pattern. <laughs> now it's set to song. I'm sorry. Now you'll see it. And it's going to do it very slowly, but you'll still be able to hear it. It's going to rise up slowly. And you can incorporate that into just about any, any song. And you don't have to necessarily use the low pass filter. See, the cutoff has moved up. Okay, so now you get the point. And also, if you didn't like that automation, if you want to go back and delete it, go here. Go and go to your automation clips. I have automation clips for other things. Find the clip, which would be the Nexus MST cut. Right click on it and delete it. It says you're about to delete it. And there it is, it's gone. Okay, um, please subscribe. There'll be more um, videos available. And thank you very much. Have a good day, fellas and fellas.